Okay, I'm gonna try and make this a little regular on the show. Well, not regular, every now and again. Um, usually I review ales, uh, but this time I'm gonna be reviewing a mead. Uh, I'm gonna try and, because I've tried a few meads in the past, and I love it, I love mead so much. It's just like one of my favorite drinks. Uh, my favorite at the moment is probably the uh, Lindisfarne still, which is a really nice mead, but Today I'm going to be trying one which is um, usually something I don't usually try. When it comes to meads, I prefer them either, you know, honey mead, you know, simple plain honey mead, or now and again I'll go for a spice mead. Um, but I thought I'd try a, a, a fruit one because I've heard good things about this one, and it's from the Cornish Mead Company, and it's their Cornish Blackberry Mead. Now this one's available online in pretty much quite a lot of shops. Um, but luckily I picked it up when I was in Red Roof uh, doing a little bit of um, trekking and I found it in a the shop. They've got a website which is www.cornishmead.co.uk and uh, I'll give you a bit of info, it says uh, Blackberry Fruit Mead Wine. Enjoy fruit flavours with a subtle hint of honey in a great base producing a full strength wine. Created in Cornwall for the last 50 years and blended to our long established secret recipe. Discover our other distinctive fruit inspired wines and traditional meads. So. It's uh, been going for 50 years, so they obviously know what they're doing. Let's lose had some of this earlier, so and she said it was lovely, so let's give it a go. Okay, get a decent sized glass. Uh, ABV 17%, which is about right for a mead, 17 18%. Uh, sometimes go lower. And there you go, look at that. That is just, it just looks like a glass of red wine. It's dark, dark purple color. Just, I mean, you'd, you'd confuse it for a glass of red wine. Let's give it a nose. Oh wow, that is, it's just so fresh. It's just like fresh black currants and blackberries. Um, Almost like a jam, but before the sugar's been added or something like that, when you're boiling up fruit. And you're getting a nice uh, alcoholic sweetness, sort of like dancing underneath it. And a little bit of vanilla as well. I don't really need to cover it. I mean, the, the smells are so pungent and lovely. You don't really need to do all that business. I'm not a connoisseur on wine or mead or anything like that. As you know, uh, with my reviews, when I do the L reviews, I taste it and um, try and explain it. So, cheers, Skull. Oh, bloody hell. Oh wow, that is, oh man, that is, that is, almost swollen, sorry. That's the stuff they serve in Valhalla, where they're sitting at the tables eating the boar and everything else. This is the stuff, they serve it with the traditional meat, but this stuff, bloody hell. Oh man, I had to describe it. It's just an explosion of dark berries, fruit. I'm getting uh, like the bramble, all oh, like black currants, blackberries, um, just all the really dark fruits. But you're getting a grape as well, like the dark grape, the red grapes. Um, not so much of a wine character, but then um, you've got this honey base, which is just I don't know. It's somehow it's like um, it's like bobbling sort of slightly get, like say so you've got all the dark fruit flavours on the top just exploding and dancing and you've got this base of honey just smoothly caressing the tongue. Um, big alcohol hit at the end as well. This is a proper big balls drink. I mean, it's warming, it's fresh, it's summery and it's wintry at the same time.
Mmm, that is bloody gorgeous. The next time I'm in Cornwall, I'll grab a couple more bottles of this and I'll stick one in um, in a beer mail uh, for one of you guys. I'll decide, I'll have a little look through the names and I'll decide who's going to get it. But this definitely needs to be reviewed by someone else. It is bloody beautiful. I might even send a bottle to Chad um, in Canada because I know he likes his meats, him and his missus. I know they drink the fruit ones. But this is unreal. I really thought it was going to be a bit sickly or a bit strange tasting, but it's really hard to describe how the flavours are working. That is beautiful. That is bloody, bloody gorgeous. Um, Cornish Mead Company. Get on the website, find out how much it costs to get yourself, get yourself a bottle. Um, who else will I think will like this? There's a few, a few of you out there who I think will like this. Um, Eternity in Valhalla. He's one of the guys who subscribed. Nick. You'd love that, mate. That is seriously, seriously good stuff. Right, well, I'm set for the evening. Lou's out, and I've got the rest of that to drink, so... Really, really happy with that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go straight onto the website and see what else they've got. And, um, good, good stuff. Skull for fun! Mmm. Beautiful. Cheers!